Alright, uh, my name is Zach Dawson, if you don't already know that. And today, uh, I'm going to talk about rules a little bit. So, pretty much in everything we do in life, there's rules. Uh, there's rules, like, in our country about, like, what we can and can't do. Uh, most families have rules about, like, what you can do in the household. Uh, even games we play, like, Monopoly has rules about, like, collecting $200 when we pass go. Stuff like that, you know, good stuff, good stuff. Uh, so the question I'm going to talk about today is, uh, should governments in all circumstances be under constitutional limits? So basically, like, should the government sh uh, have to follow the rules that they set for their people and, like, uh, how they act and, like, the things that they do? So, like, examples would be, like, uh, should they be able to do the death penalty and, like, kill people even though, like, uh, citizens are not allowed to obviously murder people? And uh, today we're going to be looking at it through the perspective of our boy, Thomas Hobbes. Look at that. What is he like? <laughs> That, that, dude, that dude's seen some stuff in his life. Uh, so his main key value that we're going to go over today that connects to this is order. Uh, so Thomas Hobbes like, really values order and everything. He wants everything to be very peaceful. So he's like pretty much the exact opposite of an anarchist. Uh, and through that, his main social goal is he wants everyone to follow one sovereign government. So he wants uh, everyone just to be like obeying uh, the government to keep everything in order. Uh, yeah, and his key assumption, one key assumption we're going to go over, is that human nature is to be self-centered. So like we talked about earlier, um, everyone's just looking out for themselves, and they're just going to be, <coughs> excuse me, uh, everyone's just going to be doing uh, like what they think is best for themselves. Uh, so like how these kind of connect is um, another thing, so if people are looking out for themselves, they shouldn't want anarchy. Because in anarchy, people are just going to be uh, people are just going to be doing what's best for themselves, and like they're going to be like killing to get food, stealing stuff. So if you think about it, uh, if you're really looking out for yourself, you should be wanting to follow a government because the government's going to be like looking out for everyone if everyone's following the same government. So Thomas Hobbes, uh, to the question, he would say yes, governments. Sh or no, government shouldn't have to follow the same constitutional limits because Thomas Hobbes would want the government to be looking out for everyone in the self-interest of himself. So, like, he wants the government to be looking out for him in the best way possible because he's looking out for himself. And if it's anarchy, it's just, like, straight up a game of Fortnite out there. Dude, everyone's killing, everyone's like, getting what they can. So, it's, he really just wants one sovereign government to be protecting himself. So, question. I feel like that was super quick. Talk really fast. The pace was fast, but yes. Questions? What, what do we need these for? That's, that's, that's Keontae. That's no. He was just passing them out for early. Yeah. No, so, dude, just so. free sticky notes for everyone, on me. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't I get a sticky note? <laughs> okay, real question for Zach. That's probably not these appropriate count. for him. These, these questions count? Yeah, so, no. Yes, they do. They, they don't. don't. How much limit should the government have on protecting you, or like what um, criteria do they have to like um, protect if someone else is trying to like hurt you or something? I think the government should be able to do whatever they need to do for the best interest of their citizens. So give us an example. In a group or individual? So like, like I think like with like terrorism and stuff, if they get the suspects they should be able to do the death penalty. Stuff like that. Even though like we can't kill people, I think the government should be able to in the best interest of their citizens. My personal opinion. Uh, so, from Hobbes' perspective, would he think that it would be better for government to enact on threats or on actions? So, doing doing preemptive action or doing retributive? I think it would be, uh, from Hobbes' perspective, I think he would think it would be better um, on threat, because if they do it on action, like say there's some psychopath and he goes kills 20 people, mm -hmm. well, there's a chance that Hobbes is one of them. If they do it on th off threats, then like it's like protecting more people, okay. if you know what I mean. Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah. yeah. So Hobbes wants one big government, right? And Hobbes assumes that humans are estranged, right? Yeah. How do the people come together to form this government if 
human nature is war of every man against every man? How do they come together and overcome that? I guess they, that's a really good question. Uh, I guess they come together because they know it's all in their best interest to look out for themselves. So it's not like they want to work with everyone, but they know if they work with everyone, then it would be in their best interest. If that makes sense, if that answers your question. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? So if you believe that government should have no limit, would you also believe that uh, they should torture like terrorists? Uh, for like information? Yeah. Uh, that's a good question. Probably not. Uh, uh, I guess. Hobbs? <laughs> what? Hobbs? I don't think, me personally, I would say no. Oh, okay. I think, Wait, yeah, I so, so you believe in the death person. penalty but not waterboarding? A lot of people do. Yeah, they're like yeah. two very different Yeah, those things. are two completely different things. Yeah, bring on the death penalty and bring on water. Execution, <laughs> execution is painless. Waterboarding uh, is like drowning. So <laughs> painless is like in a short, <laughs> it's like, as like in short yeah, pain, I'll, short I'll amount of pain. I think torturing is okay. 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 Thanks for, ta okay. thanks for taking the awkwardness <laughs> away from me, dude. Hello. Thanks, I appreciate yeah, it. Me personally, no. <laughs> That's funny. Any other questions? No, please don't. Oh, my God. Thank you. Okay. okay.